And Rachel Carden is live for us after speaking with the Maryland Attorney General about the price gouging. I saw it today. Rachel, what are they saying? Well, Nicole, we're here at the Wawa on Jumper Road, and every single pump has a car at that pump. Now, we have heard from people that they've seen anywhere from $3 up to $4, some even more than that. Many saying they think the stations, the gas stations, are taking advantage of people during this panic buying. It's getting ridiculous. Like, it's almost $4. That's ridiculous. I think it's like four gas stations at like $3.10, something like that, maybe $3.11. Three dollars to about three eighty was the highest. Right now, me paying three dollars is a lot. Price gouging at the pump? Surprisingly, not illegal in Maryland. Our authority to enforce a law against price gouging expired on April 30th. Attorney General Brian Frosch says if gas prices double or triple, his office can step in and use the Consumer Protection Act to stop the climbing prices. But right now, they can't do anything except document complaints as a 20 to 40 cent increase is not enough of a change. We take that seriously, but uh, it does not look like this is going to be a crippling problem uh, for the economy or for uh, individuals. AAA reports Maryland's gas prices jumped seven cents overnight. The state average is now three dollars for the first time in seven years. That's if the gas station you pull into actually has gas. My dad lives in Columbia. He told me they ran out of gas. Yesterday, my roommate and I drove to three different gas stations on York Road and they had no gas. The Colonial Pipeline has resumed operations and everything should be back to normal in the coming days. But for now, people sit in line and wait for their chance to fill up. We got to wait in line for a long time and never. I have never. I'm 53 years old. I never seen this before. Attorney General Frosch says he does plan to make price gouging enforcement permanent, but that might not happen until the next legislative session, which isn't until January. We're live in Towson. I'm Rachel Carden for WJZ.